Hi, this is Kristen with Rousey Learning Company, and today I am going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions that we have, and that is, how can I use a Rousey Power Up with Seesaw? So, as you can see, I am on a Power Up page, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, I'm going to click into my student activity and download it into my Google Drive. So make a copy. Here we are. It's my copy is now in my drive. So you can see that. And then I am going to go to file and I'm going to download it as a PDF document. So here it is downloading. I'm going to give it a second. So there's that. I'm going to just kind of throw it on my desktop over here to save for later. Alrighty. And I just want to kind of look at that. Okay, now I'm going to go over to Seesaw. And I kind of had already gotten started here, so I'm going to um, go back out just to do the whole process. So I'm going to go to Add, Assign Activity create new activity, and then add template for student responses. Um, I'm going to give it a name. So we'll do Rosy sample, add template for student responses, and then I'm going to do upload, and I'm going to go over to um, my document over here. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. And here's my PDF. It is uploading, and there it is. Okay, so now I can go through and do whatever I want to do to it. So here's just kind of that background information uh, of that. So here is where it's going to get a little bit dicier. You can't do what we do in the Google um, the Google Classrooms where these are able to be moved unless you kind of put your own pictures in or whatnot. Um, but my suggestion would be to just have them draw it instead so they can draw the roots and do all of that. Um, you can kind of add a text box telling them those instructions if you think that would be helpful. So draw the correct picture. I'm not going to kind I'm not going to mess with this too much cuz you get the idea. I'm sure you guys are all better at using this than me, honestly. So, um, you can kind of do that there. And then kind of same deal with this. They can draw it in using their tools that they have. This is a teacher note for you if you want them to be doing these additional math activities. And then if you want them to have those text boxes to answer those, you can add your text boxes in. Why am I having, of course they go to show you. And I can, there we go. And I can add the text box in there. So then, I click my green check mark at the top because I'm all done after I fill all those in and give them the text box there. And I fill that in, click go. And here it is, I'm going to do save. And I'm going to assign it to my one student that I have, which is a sample one. And there it is. So then I am going to Okay, I'm going to view it so we can kind of just go through. So, Rosie's sample add response. So, here we are. Let's go to where I put in my little text box. So, again, they can just use their little pencils. So, um, for example, so collects minerals and waters, it's going to be roots, so they can draw their roots. Um, 
collect sunlight. It's going to be a leaf. Um, you know, you can see all that. And then same here, they can draw their roots, their stem, their leaves, and all of that. So basically you just need to kind of give them instructions um, to draw as opposed to moving. And these can these pictures can just be used as inspiration. And then here they use their text and they double click and they can type in. And that is how you can implement those Razzy power-ups into Seesaw. If you have any questions or even suggestions um, of something that you think would work better, we are always trying to improve and adapt to what everyone needs. So I would love to hear from you on how this is working or anything that we can do to help improve your experience. So good luck. Give it a try and let us know how it goes. Thanks so much.